Welcome back, YouTube. So I've been playing Genshin Impact for almost a year now. We're on day 348, and many people ask me, what is my day-to-day -day routine? What do I do on a daily basis? What do I prioritize? What do I farm? What do I, what do I do, right? So in this video, we're gonna show off everything from the essentials. We'll be cutting it into categories and I'll be timing myself as well. So the timer is in the top right to let you know how long it takes me personally to do them. So we'll be cutting it into essentials if you don't have that much time to play, what I would prioritize the most. After, if you do have a little bit more time to play, like say like 30, 40 minutes more, I'll be adding another category on what you should be doing then. And then I'll be showing off like what else I do when I play for like six hours a day and I stream over on my Twitch channel, all the other copium stuff that are not really necessary, but I do it anyways, just to kill time, hang out, chat, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys wanna catch more uploads like this in the future. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And let's hop right in. The timer has started. First and foremost, I'm going to switch over my party to a team that can kill things faster because we are going commission hunting right now. So first thing that I do are commissions. And it's a shame that my commissions are over at Watsatsumi Island. So first thing on the list that I would say is essential, finish up your four commissions. You can access them via F1, the handbook, and then just track them down. And this is the last one. So as you can tell right now, it's been 5 minutes and 45 seconds. We finished up our daily commission. So roughly about 6 minutes, give or take. If you guys can do more damage than me, then you'll probably finish a lot faster than I am. So finishing commissions was number one. Number two, after you finish your commissions and you turn in, if you need like friendship XP, make sure you're on your friendship team. But expeditions. So while you're here turning in your commissions, go ahead and just send out your characters on an expedition. I normally send two in Mondstadt for crystals because crystals are more important. My Bennett is dead, so I can't actually send him out yet, unfortunately. And Liyue, I send out two more characters, one for crystals, one for gold. And then in Inazuma, I send out one for gold. So there you guys go. Number two would be turning in expeditions. And now number three on the list, that's most importantly, to do is spend your resin. So today, I said we're going to be farming for my Kaching, farming for the weapon essential materials. So we'll be trying to farm up a little bit of that. But number three on the list, spend your resin wherever you want. Personally, for me, I'm trying to get in the hang of doing um, Ley Lines, XP, or Mora. Leaning more towards Mora. So definitely make sure you spend um, your resin wisely, whatever you need. Alright, so right now I'm going to be using condensed resin because it's a lot faster. So if you are low on time and you need to, and you know you're going to be doing this dungeon multiple times, I highly suggest using condensed resin. It's like getting double the drops, right? So we have two purples here, uh, seven of those, ten of those. I probably need more to level up my Kaching. So I'm going to run the domain one more time. We'll use one more condensed resin and then I should be set to go. And then you can just craft two more condensed resin with 80 resin after the fact, which will put us all the way back down to 60 resin, which we can use on probably a boss here, the Thunder Manifestation for Bell, because we still need to level her up, and then maybe some other artifacts for, uh, or, or weapon ascension materials, because I think we need to ascend Mona's weapon too. So if you're definitely low on time, condensed resin can definitely save you time if you know you're gonna be doing the dungeon more than one time before whatever drop you need. Artifacts, weapon ascension, all right, so I'm taking a quick little break here, going back, crafting two more condensed resin, so I can get a total of five. You can only hold a maximum of five. Boom, five owned, two crafted. We should have like 40 resin left. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and do the Thunder Manifestation and finish that up for my weekly, or my boss for uh, Bal. Let's see, so we finished up our three things. Last, or four, number four on the list, I would say after you spent your resin, Daily login. There's a website. I'll link it down in the description where you can sign in every single day to get various rewards. Sign in, claim your daily, daily stuff. Um, get that out of the way. Number five, I would say, is go to your teapot and check in on things for Tubby, uh, for your friendship, for the realm currency, your tea, uh, your stuff right here, whether it be claiming or, or, or um, furnishing or gardening rather 23 hours on that so i don't really need to check on that but check in on your teapot it doesn't take that much time at all this realm so right here we have trust rank 1300 almost capped on that halfway on the friendship make sure we have all of our members that need friendship boom boom easy enough go ahead and close out of that double check your realm depot make sure you don't need to buy anything normally i just buy out the transit resin heroes wit etc and i think that was everything that was everything for the teapot and now, the last thing on this list for the essentials, which I'm trying to rush right here because I want to get this done in 20 minutes because we have 
five minutes left. Go to Inazuma, teleport right over here, yeah? So if we head over during this direction, there is a daily quest that you can do. There's a daily quest that you can do, and you can do it 10 times a day. Any daily quest in, in Mon uh, Teva, in Genshin Impact, you can do 10 times a day. But this is the fastest one to do. So right here in this little lip, this corner, we need to sign out. Sign out, sign back in, and there should be a world quest that pops up that tells me to feed the dog. It's going to cost one fowl every time I do this. And you should be able to get friendship XP, a lot of Mora, like 10 to 15,000 Mora, and like some mystic enhancement orders. So it says friend of the animals, feed the puppy. You just run over here, quickly hit F, whatever it is, feed him. And there you go. You see on the left side, we got Friendship XP, we got Mora, we got Mystic Enhancement Orders. You go back to this little lip right here, and you quickly log out, log back in. You can do this up to a total of 10 times a day, and I would technically call this an essential thing, especially if you're on crunch time and you don't have much time to spend a day doing stuff. It's been 17 minutes so far, and we knocked out all of our essentials. This is the last thing on the list, so I save it for last, just in case you don't have time. Not really... The most mandatory thing I'd say, but it definitely does help in terms of getting you resources that you need. That was number two right there that we ended up doing. And then you just repeat this process all the way until you finish with number 10. And right here, the last one, we feed the puppy. And you can see on the left side, we get rewards. That was the last 10th and final time. It took me 21 minutes and around 50 seconds to finish everything on the list. I'm not sure how long it took me to actually feed the puppy and do those 10 things. But I want to show you really quick, as it turns 22 minutes, what happens if you try and feed the dog one more time after the 10. Now, this is just me demonstrating. I'm going to lose one foul for doing this. But if I go ahead and feed the dog after I fed for 10 times, you can see on the left side, I get no rewards. Not a single one. So there you guys have it. 22 minutes to finish all the essential things that you need to do on a daily that I would highly recommend for those of you who are short on time. Now we're going to transition into what else I do after I'm done doing my daily stuff. Um, and hopefully we can finish all this stuff in less than an hour. So we have like artifact farming coming up, um, all that good stuff. Okay, so I have three other like non-essential things on this list that I end up doing because I have more time to play. So if you guys have more than 22 minutes to play Genshin Impact, then here you go. First thing on my list that I would recommend is artifact farming. And I have an artifact farming route somewhere up on my YouTube channel. I'll probably leave that video down in the description for you guys. Um, but artifact farming is something I end up doing and I don't really do all the artifacts. I know there's artifacts over here that I end up skipping. There's like one artifact down here I end up skipping. There's a bunch more in Inazuma now and stuff like that. But off the top of my head, I'm just going to go with all my, my normal artifact route. Again, video in the description, somewhere on the screen, all that good stuff. If there's not, then just wait until I update my artifact route. It should be one of the next few videos coming soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that because with two new islands, there's more artifact spots and stuff like that. And you can only collect 100, etc. But yeah, I'm going to get my artifacts done with. I'm going to start the timer and see how long it takes me. I have double Animo in my party. So Kazuha Asayu. And I changed it to nighttime so I can run faster at night to speed this up. So I'll get back with you after I finished farming all my artifacts. And just a little counter. We're at 671 artifacts at the moment. And I do recommend farming these artifacts if you do have more time. Because you can either use it for free artifact XP, which is great. You can level up like a gold artifact, like plus six or something. Or you could sell the gold. For like 30, 40,000 Mora. That's like saving you like 10, 15 resin or something like that. It, it saves you a lot of resin if you want to spend an extra like 10, 15 minutes getting this done. Okay, so let me pause the timer right here. We have 37 minutes on the clock. I think I started at like 22 minutes, so around 15 minutes of artifact farming. And we are at 770. I guess I missed an artifact or something. Um, obviously there are more artifact spots on the map, but I only spend like a little bit of time farming them. As long as you farm a little bit, that's good. That's better than nothing. And now I want to go through and put in around a hundred of those artifacts that we got and just see how much more we end up getting back for them. Okay. So here we go. A hundred artifacts collected. Let's hit destroy. 49,000 more. So in 15 minutes of farming artifacts... I almost got 50,000 more. That's the same amount as doing a ley line for 20 resin, which you could save that 20 resin and do an artifact domain instead and try and get better artifacts. So if there you go. If you have an extra 15 minutes to kill and you want to hit up some artifact spots, 50,000 more is waiting for you every single day. 15 minutes. 
And there's obviously the interact map you can use to farm to look for artifacts. I didn't finish up my artifact farm. I still have a lot more here at the Tartarasuna. I have like two artifact spots over here. One, two right there. All the Tanuki gives you an artifact and stuff like that. You can spend a little bit of extra time. I just wanted to quickly try and speed run through and hit up some like juicy artifact spots and get that out of the way. But yeah, 50,000 Mora, pretty good. Next thing up on the list that I want to get to, to is crystal farming. And this will be a lot easier if you have a razor or a... um. If you have a Razor or a Zhongli, Crystal Farming will be a lot easier. But normally I hit up all my daily Crystal Spots. Not the every single Crystal Spot. But all my daily Crystal Spot. All my Amethyst Crystal Spots that are next to Magical Crystal Chunks. And I should have video guides posted about like the uh, daily Crystal Spawn locations. You can of course use the interactive map and stuff like that. We'll see how long this takes me. I'm pretty sure it won't take me more than 15 minutes to get up all the spots. Um, but I'll get back to you after the fact. After we finish all of that, there are, I think, eight spots in Inazuma total. There are 10 spots in Liyue, and there are six in Mondstadt. So, six in Mondstadt, 10 in Liyue, and eight in Inazuma. All right, we're going to start in Mondstadt. Let me start the timer and see how long this takes us to get crystals. We're at 37 minutes. Here's my crystal 1041 and 1034. So just a quick recap video, just a quick recap, we're at 41 minutes, I just finished up all my crystals in Mondstadt, so that took about 4 minutes to finish up my crystals in Mondstadt. So now let's go ahead and go over and go to Liyue as well. Okay, really quickly now, we just finished up our last crystal spot in Liyue, and if we take a look at the timer over here... It's been 49 minutes, I think we started at 41, so 8 minutes to hit up all 10 crystal spots in Liyue. Now we're hitting up Inazuma, and we're hitting up the final eight locations that are having daily crystal spots. For me, the crystals will spawn wherever the golden ley line is. So right now, the golden ley line is on this island, Yashi Ori, which means all my crystal spots that I have marked right here, it will be spawning at. This isn't going to be your crystal farm video. Be on the lookout for that in the future. This is just my daily routine video on how long it takes me to farm certain things. And the last one. And there we go. Let's pause the timer. 58 minutes in. We hit up our final crystal spot. We got done with uh, Inazuma. All eight locations in, I think, like 10 minutes or something. I'm not sure what time we stopped at. If it was 49 or 48. Nine minutes. Nine to 10 minutes or something. So let's do a recap. Yeah. We started farming crystals when we were at 1041, right? And we have 1,119. So we farmed 78 crystals 78 crystals and i'm trying to think of the number that we st started at for amethyst i think it was 10 30 10 34 my twitch chat is helping me out right here the 10 34 so we ended up getting 39 so 78 78 crystals 39 amethyst and normally what i do after i spend my time farming that because that took me about like I don't know how long. I don't know what the starting time was. I'll try and put it on the screen somehow in post-editing, I suppose. But 58 minutes total for everything that we've done today. And I end up going to the blacksmith and crafting these mystic enhancement ores. And now normally what I do after that is I go here and spend 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 of my crystals that I just farmed crafting these mystic enhancement ores. In batches and then I'll spend another 40 out of the what 39 that I farmed getting more mystic enhancement ore so we basically stay afloat your expeditions will definitely keep you ahead if you farm your daily spots you don't have to hit up the three-day respawns or anything like that you will end up with as many mystic enhancement ores as me 4,500 uh, mystic enhancement ores you can craft 30 of these a day so I do recommend that if you want to start sooner than later because it takes you about 21 days to get a fresh Four star weapon from level one to level 90 so keep that in mind three weeks if you didn't actually pre-farm and farm and stock that up and we have all these level 90 weapons leveled up because of me farming crystals every day so a quick little 20 minutes there to get that done okay so the last thing that we end up doing are elites now i don't do every single one of the elites there are certain elites that drop 600 more like the hilly churls the lava churls the geo bishops and the Eye of the Storms, and the Ruin Graders. So I will be going around killing all of these elites to see how much money we will end up getting after the fact. We're at 2.8 million, so I'll let you guys know the math and how long it takes us after that. We're going to hit up all every single Lava Troll location. The handbook doesn't actually tell you where every single location is, so 
though I do have them memorized off the top of my head, because I've been farming them for quite some time now, uh, considering this is a daily routine video, but you can always use the interactive map, links down below in the description, all that good stuff, and I'll get back to you after we go around and kill everything. I highly suggest you start with your um, kill squad, not your friendship team. So whatever you're, you're going to be able to do big damage. So I have Kazuha, Aika, Eula, and Bennett here. I'll see you guys after we finish murdering most of the elites on the map. And Aika just cleaning them up just like that. And there you guys have it. Let's stop the timer. An hour and 25 minutes. Of course, I could probably get that last Eye of the Storm completed. He's at Storm Terror's Lair, I think, right here. But you have to, like, climb all the way up and stuff like that. Pretty painful, pretty tedious to get to, in my opinion. So I normally just leave him out. And if I check my handbook, I should be done with my elites for the Geo Bishops and the Lava Trolls. All done. So that was everything. Let's do a recap now. Let's open our bag and see how much more we are left with. So we are left with 2.2. 2894566. So we got 2, 2,894,566. Subtract that from the 2,874,828. And we ended up getting roughly 20,000 Mora. We got 19,738 Mora, is what we ended up getting for farming those elites. Now, I'm not sure how long that actually took us. I think we started at 58 minutes, right? So we, we started at 58 minutes. So it took us about 27 minutes to go around and kill all of our Ruin Graders, our Lava Churls, our um, Eye of the Storms, minus one, and the Geo Bishops. 27 extra minutes, if you want to say 27 extra minutes is worth the uh, extra 20,000 more or not. That's up to you. The other stuff that we ended up finishing was definitely well worth the time, though, because in less than an hour, we finished our daily commissions, our expeditions, our resin, daily login, teapot, eating the dog 10 times, which only took us 22 minutes to finish all those essential things that I highly encourage you do if you are short on time, especially for those free-to-play players out there. An extra, what, 15 minutes after that to farm artifacts around the map that nets you 50,000 Mora. Highly recommend doing that as well. And then the rest is up to you if you want to farm crystals. On top of that, if you have like only an hour to play a day, I do encourage you to farm crystals because you can level up all these weapons like me to level 90 and still have 4,000 Mystic Enhancement Ores left over with these crystals to suffice you enough. You don't have to hit up like every single crystal spot on the map. I know there's like so many crystal spots and so many Amethyst Lumps. We're just hitting up the daily stuff. The ones that spawn like 8 in Inazuma, 10 in Liyue, and 6 in Mondstadt. Then after that was the more elites. So that was all the stuff that I do on a daily basis. That was all the stuff we do on a daily basis. Let me know down below if you guys do any of the stuff that I do. If you learn anything. If you are like motivated now to farm artifacts for 50,000 Mora a day for only 15 minutes. Do remember you have to do that sooner than later because it goes from 24 hours and not a server reset. But that was basically everything that I do daily. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it does help the channel grow. Consider subscribing if you want to catch more guides like this in the future. Um, we have other guides coming soon, stuff like that. Or let me just know in the comment section what you would like to see from me. And I'm happy to share that with you as well. Also, before I forget, feel free to join us over on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Enviosity. You got my wholesome Twitch chat with us. You guys can join the party. We're live every day, 9 a.m. All that good stuff. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Happy farming. All right. And now the last stuff that I end up doing is like some copium things I don't recommend. I go to Hopkins and Springvale. I buy the holy water every single day for like 300 Mora. I hit up this crab island, which you can get 20 crabs on. It's the east of a Star Snatch Cliff in Mondstadt. And I have like, what, almost 4,000 crabs. So I try and get all the way up to 9,000 crabs. I end up going around to Timmy's birds and killing a few with Kujo Sara. Really good for actually killing them too, because whenever you take a shot at the ground, the birds don't like startle and they fly away. Boom, all of them are dead. It's great. I love it. But yeah, that was basically it. That's like all my stuff that I do extra. I spend like an extra five hours after the fact. After my hour and 25 minutes of essentials, I spend like five hours being a complete degenerate and going around, killing everything on the map, collecting some more mints, and killing more birds and getting more crabs and stuff that are not really that essential. And you don't need to do that, but thought I'd throw it in there anyways for, you know, yeah.